Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified every time that I upload. Oh these lights are really doing my eyes in today. So today we've got a video finally testing out all the beauty crop stuff that I bought in my haul which I've done a few videos back and I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it because I've done a few swatches and all that jazz. This video is a long time coming because I did film this video already and then when I went to edit it a few days later the whole audio messed up so I couldn't do anything with it so I'm refilming and obviously I've had this stuff for a few weeks now obviously thought that my video was going to go up so I've been using these on the regular so I have already formed my opinions on them so this is not a first impressions but I will like give you all my opinions on these products at the very end and then obviously you'll see how they perform and stuff like that so if you want to see the look that I create with the beauty crop products and hear my thoughts on this brand then please stay tuned so first things first I did get the toner so this is the kombucha low toner which I have already Already used so I've already prepped my skin this morning but I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows first I'm gonna go in with the BFF brow gel it's looking a little bit murky and I think it's because I've been using it constantly like every single day because the brow brush on this is just perfect so what I like to do is I just like to run it through my brows and really coat all them hairs because this brow gel dries down to the point that your brows do not move and let me just sing you in a bit as well yeah this is something that i definitely have been using every day it's just so simple to use i've not really been putting much in my brows other than this like not really been penciling them in or anything like that so i'm quite liking a natural brow but i will pencil them in a little bit today because we are going out for roast later, so I'm not going to do anything too drastic, just a nice natural makeup look. But yes, let's just take the end of a makeup brush and just flatten them down a bit. Then I'm just taking a spoolie and I'm just going to shape them a little bit. Making sure that they're not crazy because my brows are quite long at the moment and i'm just going to quickly take my p louise um brow pencil in mochaccino and just fill in any sparse areas so now i'm going to go ahead and prime my face so i'm going to use the avocado poreless primer that's what it looks like and it's a nice squeezy pump applicator so i just pump a little bit on the back of my hand and it's got quite a runny texture i'm just going to really press that in where my pores are really visible which is basically my T-zones. And then with the residue, I just go around the rest of my face. So it's giving me a nice, healthy glow. It's a little bit tacky. Um, it's not really blurring, considering it's a, like a poreless kind of primer. It says it minimises pores and smooth skin while helping your makeup go on better and last longer. It's quite a nice makeup base. Now, I didn't get a foundation or anything like that. I'm just going to go in with my trusty Be Perfect. So I'm just going to apply my foundation and concealer and then I will be right back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use the juice pot. So this is the lip and cheek tint in the shade Lychee. And it is such a gorgeous shade. So the applicator is like that. So I just basically pop a bit on the back of my hand. And then I just go in with a damp sponge. And just blend it all in. It is very pigmented. So that's why I feel like it's best to go in with your um, sponge first. Rather than dot directly apply it to your skin and very very pink on one side so a little bit of this does really go a long way like that so now i'm going to go in with the vitamin babe setting powder this is in transparent and i actually really like the fact that this comes with like a little powder puff and then you open up the lid and then you've got the like the little sieve thing there so you can control how much powder actually comes out so it's not too messy which considering this is a very affordable powder i think that's a really good idea but yeah so just get a bit there Pop a little bit on my hand just to tap off the excess 
and then just go in using the powder puff. I think powdering is my favourite step because then you can really see your look come together like your skin. So that's all powdered. And then I just like to take a clean, a fluffy brush and just wipe away any excess that I've got. And I'm just gonna take the vitamin, no, the vitamin babe set in mist. So as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this already. And I actually love this because the mist is just so fine and beautiful. And I usually spray this quite often throughout my makeup routine. I've been using that every day since I've got it. It smells really nice, it gives you a nice, it's a very subtle glow, but it just brings your skin back to life. Um, and I'm just going to use my little fan and fan myself. I'm just going to go ahead and do eyes first. So I'm just going to quickly use my P. Louise eyeshadow base. So the palette I'm going to use is the Coco Paradise eyeshadow palette. So this features nine shades and they're very neutral with like a little pop of pink and like you've got like an anti heat greeny gold shimmer there. There's a few shimmers in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five shimmers. Then you've got one, two, three, four mattes going from light all the way dark. So then you can actually do quite a few different eyeshadow looks with this. So I'm just going to go into quite light really so I'm going to first of all start off with a P. Louise one to one brush and I'm just going to go in to this shade here actually let's go in with this shade actually I'm just going to pop that through my crease like I say I'm going out for a rose so I'm not doing anything too drastic but I just wanted to show you these products because these products are actual products that I've been wearing every day since getting them so I'm just sweating that all into my crease and just winging it out a bit I'm just going to bring this here as well down the bridge of my nose okay so that's blown out and it's blended out really really quick and easy so now i'm just going to go in with the next shade but i'm going to use a slightly smaller blending brush so i'm just going to use a p louise 230 brush and i'm going to go in with that shade and just darken up the outer edge And then we might as well go in with the small, the smallest colour, the darkest shade. So this chocolatey brown here, and I'm going to use a P. Louise 116 brush, which I think is one of my new brushes. And I'm just really darkening up this outer edge, and I'm going to bring it along my lash line as well. And I'm going to go back into my second shade and just blend out that edge. Okay, like that. So. I don't know what to put on the lid. Mattes are so good. They blend out beautifully, but I feel like the shimmers are very underwhelming. So I'm actually going to use a shimmer out of the highlighter palette because I feel like that's a bit more blinding. This is like, like the, look at that, the difference. So I'm just going to that whitener. So I think I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette real quick and I'm going to take that pastel pink there. I'm just taking it on a Peaches PC36 brush and I'm just gonna pat it here and then I'm gonna go into the highlighter palette and use this whitey shade here. Just gonna use a P. Louise 118 brush and just really swirl it into this inner corner and make it like my eyes open up a bit. That is so much better than the shimmer shades in that palette. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this shade as well. And just put that underneath my brow bone. Now I'm just going to go back in with my first brush. And just make sure it's all blended out and there's no harsh lines. Now I'm just going to take a Peaches PC12 brush, like a flat stamping brush. And I'm going to go back into the highlighter palette, into the dark brown, and then just stamp along my lash line. So let's move on to the rest of my face, and then I'll put on lashes in a bit. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer now. So this is the bronzer palette, it's called Coco Bronze, and they have four shades in there. Um, I really like this for like a contour shade, and then a mixture of these two for um, my actual bronzer. I don't ever use shimmery, well I do use shimmery bronzers sometimes but not like that. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go in with a Spectrum AO5 brush, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mix them all together to be honest. They are quite pigmented, so you don't want to go in too heavy like what I've done, but I've got a little bit of sculpting, so that's good. They are really good quality. So I like to just pat it all on first, and then, like, brush. Or buff. Now I kind of want to blend it into my eyeshadow a bit as well. And down the sides of my nose, my forehead. So even though I can still see my blush underneath, I am going to go in with the blush palette because this, I absolutely love this palette. The colours in this are absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to go in with this really beautiful pink. It reminds me of like the Dior pink. I've said it before and I will say it again. I'm just going to use a P. Louise 681 brush. It's very pigmented, so you definitely want to make sure you tap it out. I'm just going to lightly tap up the top of my cheekbone. So it kind of blends all in together and a little bit on my nose. Oh, just absolutely love that. So I'm going to go in with the highlighter palette and not to highlight my cheekbones because we've got another product for that. But I'm just going to use this very lightly for like the tip of my nose. I'm just going to use this colour. Oh, I just blend that in a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's very pigmented. And just up there. Again, just tapping it in with my sponge. And because we put on a lot of powders again, I'm going to go back in with my Vitamin Babe Setting Mist. Okay, so now what my favourite product, I think, from this haul is the Glow Milk. Now, this went viral on TikTok, and I understand why it's stunning. The only problem I have with this is the packaging. Like, the piplet doesn't work properly, and it just it's a bit like... I just got to try to scoop it out a little bit, but then it's hard to get all out. Um, so yeah, so what I do is I just get like quite a bit and just rub it on the back of my hand. And then just use my finger, just rub it in a bit more. And then I just take my damp sponge and just work the product into my skin. But it just gives a gorgeous, subtle highlight that just looks natural and like glass like like what Amelia Olivia always says so let's just take a bit more like just look at that it, it's insane I definitely want to get some more of this I could just pull it everywhere Look at that. It is unreal. Just looks like I've got really nice glossy skin now. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, do my lips and sort out my lashes, and then we will be right back to hear my final thoughts and see the final look. So this is the finished look. Let me know down below what you think. So we're going for cute summery, kind of. Soft glam vibes. Just look at that glow. It is insane. And that's with no extra highlighter on top either. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I found a few favourites from this order that I did place. And it's definitely the number one has got to be the glow milk as well as the juice pots. Juice Pot, the Vitamin Babed collection. I do want to get the uh, foundation and the concealer from this range because I feel like this range is really, really nice. On the skin, primer is fine. It's not my favourite primer, but it's not the worst primer. It does its job. It sticks well. Um, it. I don't really know much about it, like, 
minimizing my pores because I can still sometimes see my pores but then until I put this powder on this powder does blur your pores such a good powder it reminds me of the Fenty powder um the bronzing palette's good the blush palette's good the highlighter palette's good the eyeshadow palette's good I just don't like the shimmers in this I prefer the mattes uh, just for like a more everyday wear so yeah overall really really pleased with everything that I placed an order from on beauty crop let me know down below what your favorite item from beauty crop is if you've tried it before because I'll be keen to try some more of their products I definitely want to pick up a few more shades of this because it is just chef's kiss it is unreal but yes that is all from me and I'm hoping that when I edit this video the audio is going to be so much better. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you for being patient for this video to come up as well. I'll link the haul that I did down below because I've done a few more swatches, etc. told you pricing and all that jazz. And yeah, oh and also if you're wondering on my lashes, I've actually got on the Tati Lashes clusters, like individuals. I'm still quite a beginner at doing them um, but they actually last me all week like last week I put them on on Sunday and I, and I took them off on Friday so yeah they do last really really well as long as you look after them I always brush them through in the mornings maybe pop a bit more of the um, the seal that comes with it so that's a seal that's the bond gel thing adhesive but yeah if you want me to do a, like a little reel or tiktok video on how I apply these because they're not as easy as what everyone says they are um then let me know and I'll do that for you but yes that is all from me hope you have a splendid day and hopefully I shall see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a lovely little comment down below and goodbye bye